everyone, Delightful Dolls here. Quickly before we get started, the weekly shout out goes to Lydia and Anna's World of Fun. Thank you so much for commenting. If you would like a shout out, all you have to do is comment something nice in my videos. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make some simple squishies. Now I have to admit, these aren't the most so rising squishies. But they're made out of sponges, and I know in stores you can find other sponges that are more slow-rising than others. So I just found these six-pack sponge set from the dollar store, so they're really cheap. And they are just normal sponges, but we're going to turn them into some cute squishies. I started by cutting my sponge in half. But you can keep it the size it is if you want it to be a bigger squishy. And then I like to use these really sharp scissors, but before I get to the cutting, I like to trace my shape out. I'm also gonna be cutting it in half again, as you can see I'm doing here to make it thinner. But personally, I prefer the squishies when they're more thick actually. And then I just start cutting it. And then for the smaller cuts, I like using a smaller pair of scissors. And if you notice I'm carrying these weirdly, it's because it's kind of broken. And if you haven't guessed already, I'm making a pizza squishy. And now for the painting part. You can use like fabric paint, but since I didn't have any, I just used some tacky glue or any glue that says it's good with fabric. And then I mixed it with some paint of the color I wanted. Now this method doesn't exactly work that well on regular squishies because it just peels off, but for these sponges, it works pretty well. I made the crust and now I'm making some little pepperonis. And that's how my pizza squishy turned out. And I recommend letting it dry for a while. I even let mine dry overnight just to be extra safe. I also made this emoji squishy with the same yellow. And again, I like it a little thicker, I realized. For this one, I'm making a watermelon squishy. And for this one, I am making a little popsicle squishy. And then for the smaller details, I like to use a toothpick because it makes it easier, like for the eyes and the mouth. And if you make any mistakes, you can just cut off a little bit and then it'll be gone. Also, I wanted to show you, this is a donut I made. This is one of my favorite ones. And the hole in the middle, I just carefully and slowly cut it out. And remember, with this same idea, you can make a whole bunch of different kinds of squishies. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!